And now, back to Nevada Newsmakers with Sam Shad. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Annette Whittemore. She's the founder and president of the Whittemore Peterson Institute. Um, one of the things that I've found fascinating over the last several years, and your daughter, Andrea, has been one of the leaders of this, is communicating with this community through social media, uh, especially through Facebook. Yeah. That's been phenomenal. It, it has been absolutely remarkable. And I have to really give a lot of credit to my team at the Institute, uh, our administrative team. They are so good at that. And Andrea really has been leading the charge. She's a volunteer. Now that she's feeling much better, she's up there four or five days a week. And when she isn't working actually at the Institute, she's calling me at 8 o'clock at night saying, Mom, did you see this? Did you see that? She's constantly keeping me up to date on things that are going on on the Internet and also posting. So recently, you know, we won $65,000 uh, through causes, and that was getting people involved all over the world, um, asking them for their vote. We now have another contest that we'll find out in September. September on the 6th, whether or not we won a $100,000 award. And we were in first place um, as of last week, so we're hopeful, very, very hopeful that that's going to That's phenomenal, $65,000, and yes. you actually got we the actually money. We actually have the money, and, it's, and it is going towards our research program. And, um, and uh, you know, they had a matching gift program, actually. We got $26,000 in an hour and a half. Wow. So you can see that this is just a, um, not only a huge vehicle for us to get our message out and to get the message about the Institute and what it's doing, but also to bring that community together and give them a lot of hope um, and outlet so that they can participate, even if they don't participate by donations. Just voting in a contest like that can have remarkable results. One of the things I've noticed, because certainly after your appearances on this program, there is tremendous uh, input from the web uh, across the world, as I mentioned earlier. And some of the stories are just heart-wrenching because people are looking at your institute. You know, you started this for hope for your daughter, but there are people all over the world who have hope because of what your institute is doing. How does that affect you? Well, it's very humbling. It is very humbling. And um, it does create that sense of urgency and tremendous responsibility because I want to see those people benefiting from this work as quickly as possible. And This is what's so exciting about having the medical practice uh, up and running now because we really are going to be able to try out new diagnostics in that setting and then follow those diagnostics with treatment so that we can take a look at how, what treatments are working for what people, what groups of people. And ultimately that goal is to send that information out at far and wide around the world so that doctors have those tools and can be diagnosing their patients correctly and then treating them with really effective protocols, effective if people, treatments. If people want to be, uh, 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 see if they have the retrovirus, mm -hmm. um, uh, is there a program in place for them now to, to get that testing done? Well, um, we are currently still really refining that test and although physicians are using it and they are using that as part of their clinical diagnosis, and we do have a test at the laboratory at Univex right now. You know, every single day we find out something new. And uh, the exciting thing, and I think we talked about it last time, is the antibody response. We're looking at that more closely because it seems to really be the most effective test to tell us whether or not a patient's body is responding to a retrovirus. And if the immune system is seeing it and responding poorly, i.e., with a, a tremendous amount of inflammation, that gives the doctor um, a clue as to how he wants to treat. All right, I want to talk about, because we're running out of time as always, um, you have your major fundraiser of the year coming up uh, in Reno That's cool. um, at the Atlantis Hotel Casino. Tell us about this and how people can uh, get tickets well, and buy tables for this, because it's so important to keep this research going at a time when the federal government is coming, cutting back, the state government has no money. We have to keep this institute going. That's absolutely right, and uh, truly we count on that annual fundraiser for approximately a third of our funding. So it's very, very important that we get support. We can purchase tickets. Um, the event is September the 15th. It's a Thursday this year. It's going to be very, very exciting. We have a wonderful young talent from Nashville coming in, and she's donated her time. And then the patients have donated her flight money right. so that we could bring her to Reno. It's, it's just an amazing story. We're going to have a wonderful evening. We're honoring R&R &R partners for all their incredible work that they've done to support the Institute and its mission, and certainly we would love people to go to our website, uh, um, 
Uh, and I'll, ma I'll make it easy. Okay. Uh, because yeah, uh, our, our website has donated all of our billboards uh, on the website for the last several weeks uh, to the Institute. All you got to do is go to NevadaNewsMakers.com, click on any of the banners, and you will get all the information you need for the dinner. I Thank also you. wanted to, to talk about something that was quite remarkable in these times, uh, which is the involvement of Nevada Energy and Michael Yakira in this project. Uh, what has been his input financially into this? Oh, he's, he has been really wonderful and so generous. Envy Energy donated $100,000 to the Institute $100, over the next two years in support of the research. They are such wonderful community uh, partners. And, you know, Michael uh, just recently married, and Michael and Renee are dinner chairs this year, along with the Raggios. So um, he's just given beyond, and we're so grateful to him and grateful to Envy Energy for their And in addition support. to that, they're also buying tables. They are. They bought a table as well. Um, for those that have not been, and I've been fortunate to be able to go every year uh, since you started this, um, for people who love politics, and certainly people who watch this program love politics, it is a who's who of Nevada politics from both northern Nevada and southern Nevada. And so the reception prior to the dinner is absolutely fun. If you want to people watch or go talk to people who are legends, uh, they're all there at this dinner. So it's I Hope You Dance. It's at the yes. Atlantis. And once again, the date? September the 15th. Thursday night. And you can buy individual seats or you can buy, buy tables, tables. Mm -hmm. and to help this cause at a time when you really need the help financially to keep this going because we got to keep it going. Absolutely. Thank Annette you, Whittemore, Sam. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for all you do. We so much appreciate it. Thank you, Ken. We'll be right back after, uh, after this timeout.